we've been thinking about it, and I think we're going to maximize Mookie in a different spot. We're going to flip-flop them. We're going to go Benny leading off, and Mookie's going to hit second. Um, talk to them. It just makes sense. I think, obviously, you guys saw what happened towards the end of the season. He, he became very passive again, and it's not that I don't like that. You know, I know what type of hitter he is, but I think doing that, Benny can be aggressive too, and he can. You know, he's a good runner. He gets on base, and I put it this way to Mookie, and I know Benny's okay with it. But you know, if you play 162 games, you're gonna come up 162 at bats with nobody on. And last year, what I wanted from him in the leadoff spot, we accomplished. And now it's a different season, and we have to make adjustments. And that's what we're gonna go. Been going on um, for a month and a half. I mean, between plane rides and and parades and eating and all that. Yeah, yeah. But I think I think we can't we can't expect that it's going to be the same thing next year. Um, we have to make adjustments and talking to Zach and everybody knows how people think feel about the second hitter of the lineup. So we're gonna we're gonna maximize that. It's not that we did it wrong last year. We, it worked for us, but uh, it's a new season, and we have to turn the page, and I think that's a good way to do it. I've been listening to these guys the last month, and and I know how they are, how genuine they are, and they're saying the right things. Uh, I mean, even when Mookie got the, the MVP, he was thinking about 2019, the adjustment he has to make to, to make it a better season. Um, Jackie, he went to California the other day to work on his swing. I know Mookie's going over there, JD too. Christian, I saw him in Puerto Rico. This guy's, I don't know, there's something about this group that I don't want to say it's unfinished business because we did an outstanding job and we're the World Series champs, but they're looking ahead and they, they know that with the group that we have, we can do some special things. And um, just talking to them and, and texting and, and it's, it's, it's fun to, to listen to them. I'm like, yeah, that's cool, you know, so... I don't think they, they, obviously we're celebrating this, we're enjoying it, but they're looking forward for next year to do special things. Uh, yeah, uh, Craig, is it Craig? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I still have, you know, Belichick. We haven't, we haven't, I haven't seen him since the selfie, but uh, hopefully I can see him uh, probably when we have the, the, the fan fest. Right around that weekend, they probably have a playoff game, and somebody can give me tickets and go over there and hang out with them. But uh, I don't know. Um, obviously, AJ went through it last year, and one thing they did, which it was very impressive, they they came out of the blocks at all cylinders. I mean, the way they pitch. So I know he's not going to help me that much, as far as like what we have to do next year. But we we, we talked about it yesterday, and. Uh, Obviously, we've been talking to players, what we're going to do with them in spring training and taking care of them. Uh, the rotation, the other day I, I sat down in one of the flights and I went through all the games. And the way it seems like half, half of their, 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 their starts are going to be in five days or, five days or plus uh, starts, which is great for them. I don't know. I, I mean, I know repeating is tough, but like I said, it starts with the players. And I know people are going to talk about hangovers and all that, and the banquet circuit is it, part of it. It's part of it, but they've been disciplined enough. I, I saw Nate yesterday. He looks great. Chris, he started throwing. David is, you know, uh, doing his thing in, in Four Myers. And when you when you hear that, when you see that, you're like, okay, yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be in the shape. I mean, this is the first time I've been in this situation. Um, whatever, you just put the mute in a few of you guys and, and don't follow them and just stay away from it. But um, it's part of the business. We everybody knows. Everybody knows that to, you know, in today's world, you know, people are gonna talk and it's gonna be out there. But um, I haven't talked to any of them uh, as far as like this. We're just preparing for next year. When I talk to them, it's about what we're trying to accomplish next year. Yeah, there, there's there's a good chance uh, 
in game number six, we're going we're going with the six starter. Um, obviously, it's been training. It's very similar. But if you look at it, like as in now, right now, you know, like you take care of Rick, take care of Chris, David, and Nate. Eduardo, he didn't pitch much at the end, so he'll be fine in spring training. And then Brazier, he pitched a lot, and and Barnsley. The other guys, it was just like a regular season. So we got a few guys that we're going to take care of, but um, we'll go to that guy probably the sixth. It's the sixth game of the season in Oakland. We go there, and everything kind of like falls into place. Their second start is actually everybody pitches in, in six days rest, which is great. Yeah, yeah. So we got two off days when we get home, so. Try to take advantage of it. Um, resetting the rotation right before or during London. We got three days off. It's, it's a different uh, schedule, but uh, like last year, we'll take advantage of certain days, reset the rotation. We're thinking about how we're going to do it. Are we going to split the lefties? Finally, we can do it with Nate and Rick. Are we doing that? Are we not? It really doesn't matter, so, but yeah. I don't know. It's somewhere in between Caguas and Boston, one of those flights. Uh, last year was great, and, and you know, we will never forget what we did. It was a special season. I mean, what they did from from day one in spring training all the way to October 28th, mentally. Forget the the athletic part and what they did on the field. You guys were around them, and it was like locked in, locked in the whole time, and. Uh, I feel the same way. I mean, start thinking about it. We had we had organizational meetings probably 10 days after the World Series. And when I hop in that play, I'm like, OK, here we go. We, we, we got to be ready for next year. And um, I think that's that's when I started thinking 2019. Yeah, that is not that easy. Uh, that team. Everybody got hurt. All of a sudden, you had Katsi playing first. I was playing short. Um, you, I mean, we, there was a lot of injuries, um, and we 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 played till uh, you know game seven of the championship series. Um, like I, I mean, I said it last year, and you know, it takes more than 25 guys to 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 do that. And you know, last year, health-wise, we we're really really good. You know, I mean. Mookie, he, he missed, what, three weeks, whatever. But besides that, you know, I mean, obviously, Petey is the one that, yeah, and Nooney, he was banged up. But as far as health, it was almost a perfect season. So we got to be ready. We got to be ready for next year. Hopefully, everybody stays healthy and, and everybody gets their at-bats and their, their turns. But as you guys know, you know, that it doesn't happen that way all the time. So we, we'll be ready for that. I learned that from, from that team. Yeah, I mean, um, we've been talking about it, and for for it looked simple last year, but it wasn't. You know, I mean, Blake didn't have a bat. Um, it worked out perfectly because Christian gets hurt and he starts playing. You know, like, but uh, as far as like roster and where we at and and pitching in a perfect world, you know, you, you have two catchers and. You know, we got three three good ones. They're they're good. They they I mean defensively you can see Blake, you know, the strides he made, blocking pitches, taking ownership of Scott Report and, and calling games. Christian Christian in September, October, that's the guy that we wanted from the get go. He was outstanding and obviously Sandy, although offensively it, it didn't he wasn't great, but defensively he was amazing. Uh, you go back to the World Series, the way they block pitches, the way they call games. Uh, during the playoffs, it, it was it was amazing. So we'll see what happens. Obviously, you you heard it. You know he's not gonna just give him away. There's some value, and there's value in catching in the industry. Now, last year, you know the Astros traded for Martin Maldonado for a reason because of Cleveland and us. So um, we'll see what happens. Um, and if it doesn't happen in the in, in the off season, we'll go into spring training and we'll take care of them and and then. Whatever they decide, we'll do. If you, if you go to spring training with all three, competition in your mind? Um, yeah, I think so. I I, I want to see Blake catching more. I'll give him a chance to, 
Well, he did in spring training last year, but there's a few things that we recognize during the season that you know he, he does well. I mean, his release was a lot better. His footwork was better. Blocking was better. So, I mean, they, they know, and that group is a special one. They, they help each other throughout October, even though Blake only caught one inning, but it was a huge inning too. So uh, they'll, they'll, get, they'll get their bats, and whatever we decide, um, we'll go from there. Rick, I mean, Rick is amazing. He, as you guys know, everything, whenever I have to send a message or from traveling or or clubhouse stuff or dress codes, it goes through Rick, Chris, and David. And uh, he, he's amazing. Uh, the emotion he showed when we won. I mean, he told me the other day, he, he hasn't stopped crying, you know, like, like and uh, good athlete who gives you innings. Feel his position very accountable, and he's. A, if you, if you, I was talking about one of the games last year. As you guys know, I always, you know, that double against Scherzer kind of like changed. It didn't change the season, but it got us going again. Uh, bases loaded, O2 count, and he's a double. Ironic enough, he was a pitcher who got us going again, and uh, I, I have a lot of respect for him. What he did in, in the postseason, he started the whole thing, you know, with the rover. And the way he threw the ball in game one, those two outs he got, that was amazing. The, the emotion he showed, um, you know, he, he's a good one. He's a good one. And uh, we've been in touch uh, a lot lately, talking about next year, how we're going to use him in spring training, and uh, he's in a good place. How much does an impression that, like that, especially in the postseason, make 